Hi everyone, and welcome to this quick video introduction to Image Hunter, a satellite imagery search engine powered by us here at Apollo Mapping that lets you search for imagery anywhere in the world and across multiple companies, satellites, and resolutions. Now, there's a couple of ways to go about searching, and I'm going to take you through all those right now. The easiest is to simply type in the location. So I'm going with LA here, and you'll see that without me having to do anything, Image Hunter actually will create an AOI or area of interest around Greater Los Angeles. The results will pop up here, and these are all the images that will show up within that polygon, that polygon, sorry. And it's great, and I could definitely look at some of these images, but more often than not, you're probably not trying to look at the whole city. So another great tool that you can use, or tip rather, is to actually enter the address you have in mind. So I'll go ahead and put one in here for Boulder, Colorado. And you'll see that a pinpoint shows up right over the address. And another AOI is generated, but in this instance, it's a little bit smaller. And that's because you've given more specific information. Uh, if you want to know the area, you'll see it down here on the green bar at the bottom of the screen. It's one square kilometer for this address I've entered. And additionally, you'll notice in the bottom right that uh, the lat long shows up as I move my cursor around the screen. Now, maybe I want to pick an area myself and I just need a rectangle. So we could go up here to North Boulder and I'll click the rectangle selection tool and I can drag over the area I'm interested in. And you'll notice that the area of that rectangle is reflected as I drag in and out uh, in that little green pop-up. Additionally, I might want something other than a rectangle and I can go ahead and draw using the polygon selection tool around the area that I have in mind. Just like all the others, you'll see the results pop up and that shows you all the satellite imagery from our archive that falls within that polygon. Now, you might also have coordinates for your particular project. You could enter them in here. You could use either a center point or corner coordinates for upper left and lower right of the rectangle. Or if it's not a rectangle and you happen to have the vertices, you can use those as well. And you'll want to make sure that those are in WGS 84 decimal degree format. If you happen to be in a part of the world where longitude, latitude is the more common format that you use, you can toggle between that over here. I'll go ahead and submit this corner coordinate with the, or sorry, center coordinate with 40 degrees north and 100 degrees west and I'll make it a 25 square kilometer polygon. I click Submit, Image Hunter makes it, and there we are. You'll see the area again reflected down below on the green bar, and just like all the other search options, you'll see those results on the left. Now, finally, you can use our catalog ID search. And if you already have the catalog ID for a particular image, you'll be able to pull that up. You can do multiples or just a single, and you'll just want to separate them with a comma. Now, what if you already have a polygon, whether it's been sent to you, or you made it yourself in something like ArcGIS, or in MapMaven, or in another tool such as Google Earth? Well, as long as it's in shape format or KMZ, KML format, you can upload that polygon and I'll show you what that looks like. I have a shape file here over coastal Peru. I click open, submit, and Image Hunter will take me over that area. Let's zoom out a bit here. Okay, I'm on coastal Peru and I have my results here. Let's see if I can find something I like. See this Worldview 3 image looks like it goes over my whole polygon. Um, it doesn't have many clouds, which you can see here on the cloud cover feature. Uh, it's in 30 centimeter resolution, which is about as good as it's going to get. And uh, it just looks good to me and is in my window. So let's zoom in, take a look at it. If you wanted to know a little more about that image or you needed the catalog ID, you can click the info button and you'll find that here. Um, but for now, I feel like I'm good to go and I want to submit this for a quote. I could either save this and come back to it later or submit for a quote right now. So I'll go ahead and do that. And you'll want to type in your email address. 
phone number, company, and if there's anything pertinent in regards to the search that you're that you're working on or a particular project that you like to let us know, you can type that in the comment section, and you'll go ahead and submit that, and we will get back to you in four hours or less. So that's the gist of it. If you have any more questions, whether in regards to imagery or specifically to Image Hunter, you can always reach out to us by clicking this little email button down here or going to us directly at sales at apollomapping.com. And also feel free to call us at the number on the green bar right here. And if you have any questions specific to Image Hunter that you just need a quick snippet on, you can always click our help button here and that will take you to the help page. Thank you for checking out our video today and we look forward to working with you.